That is the That's one crazy. thing that I'm like, I, I, I'm, I'm still getting used to whenever I come out here and do spots, which is like, it's just so different to London in terms of the setup and the way the circuit's set up. Mm -hmm. And I like, there's different, there's pros and cons to both of them, which is really, which is really interesting. Well, I think cities outside of New York and LA are more like London in America. Right. Because it's like, oh, you do a club's open mic and then the booker is actually watching the open mic and then you do the show because the booker was watching the mic and then you get on the show. Yeah. So it's more of like a clear progression to stuff. Yeah, that's kind of it. I mean, I feel like, and I said this to you guys last time, but I feel like the main the main difference is in New York, you guys have more volume. You can hit like 30, 40 spots in a week if you really want. Mm. Um, but then a lot of it's to, to like no one. Literally no one. Literally no Zero one. people. Um, mm -hmm. Or like a handful of comics. Or And there's and the one thing that I'm still like not used to is like you'll do like the four at the pair and then you'll race to do like 4.30 at the shop around the corner. And then back and, and then... But then yeah. also, but then when you get to the shop, all the guys who are there by that point are guys who have just done the pair. So mm -hmm. they've just seen. So you're literally performing to the same people who saw the same set five minutes that, ago. That yeah. actually happened to me once. I did. Uh, I went out to meet a comic in Long Island. He was like, yeah, come come through. Like, I'll, I'll throw you a couple spots. Uh, and it was like, he didn't tell me before I came. But in it was Long Island? two open mics right. uh, that he was just like, oh, yeah, come through. It wasn't even his open mic. <laughs> it was a guy who uh, he's like a he's like a booker at fucking Broadway. And it was like. Three weeks after I got here, and he reached out, and I was like, "Oh hell yeah, mm -hmm. fucking getting booked!" Yeah, was yeah. it for the industry room? No, no, he he doesn't do the industry room. He produces the other bringers in Broadway uh, comedy. Yeah, club. I've done one of He's those. He's a piece of shit. And uh, yeah. I went there, and it's like that this fucking speakeasy, and it was nice. Every drink was like fourteen dollars. Yeah. Uh, and the mic wraps up. And it was like fine. It's a mic at a bar, and I'm upset that I took like an hour out of my way. <laughs> to go there but then everyone goes like all right you go into that mic you go to that mic whatever i get in the car with the guy that invited me we drive to a different open mic and it's a hundred percent of the same people a hundred percent of the same people we're setting yeah and everyone just gets up and does the exact same set and i was like do you, how do you not What's kill yourself yeah. what are you doing here yeah right especially when like when manhattan is just so close Right. When it's like 45 mm -hmm. minutes away, and they're sitting there sitting there like, well, you know, here, it's not like those open mics in Manhattan. You don't have to pay $5 and buy a drink. You just have to buy a drink. And then I look, it's all fucking cocktails that are $13, $14. <laughs> fucking suck my dick long. Yeah, like, and a lot yeah. of them you don't even have to fucking, it's just five, you don't even have to buy a drink for a lot of them. Which I've noticed. Yeah, a lot of them. A lot of them is just five dollars. A lot of them is five dollars and a drink, unless yeah. you can get away with it. But that's the yeah, that's the other thing. Check. I feel like there's more. There's more. There's more shows out here. And that's the thing. The thing I like about New York. This is the thing. I used to be really like, oh, I hate London scene and I love New York. Now I'm like, I do see the value of London's too because it's different in the sense that like in London we have way less spots. Like you can generally, especially in early stages, you can only do one show a day. Mm -hmm. But that show is to a genuine crowd of people, which is sick. Uh, which is really good because it's a really effective way to test new material. But then the downside is with New York is that you guys have or the downside of London which is a good thing about New York is you guys have much more of a community because like you guys will like do a mic and then you'll be like hey my buddy's running a mic around the corner in two hours you want to walk there and you'll be like yeah and then you'll do that and then someone else is like oh I know a mic in fucking Brooklyn at 1am do you want to go do that and it's like you guys will hang out go to a diner and talk shit and then go do a bunch of mics and it's like there's much more of a community kind of feel it feels like you're kind of all in the trenches together whereas like in London it's like Especially at the beginning, they're all bringers. So all the open mics are bringers, uh, at 99% of them at the beginning. And so you go to a show, I've brought my fucking friend, you've brought your roommate, you've brought your sister. So it's like, we do the fucking show, you have to stay for the whole thing. So you watch like an hour and a half, two hours, sometimes three hours of comedy. Mm -hmm. Fuck me. Yeah, they, so they'll make you stay. And then after the show, you're hanging out with the person you brought, you're hanging out with your sister, I'm hanging out with whoever. Right. And so it's like, we can't like fucking and then we go home and then we go home so there's no like talking shit or hanging out it's like because also it's like if you've asked someone to take time out of there like imagine saying to your friend like hey i know you've just worked an eight hour day in an office and you just want to go home and watch game of thrones do you mind coming to a pub that doesn't smell very good yeah. with me for three hours <laughs> so i can to talk to someone so who's I, slightly above so, me so, so i can so i can do the same five minutes you saw me do three days ago uh to a, just a, ra a crowd of random strangers well, you see i have this one new tag i'm trying to try <laughs> yeah, out exactly. yeah, yeah. in this entire five minute set and it's it's really important for me to use Cetus. Yeah. yeah. So it's just it's, so that's kind of that's, that's kind tough. of annoying. So there's no there's not there's not as much of a community. Hey, if you like that video, we have a ton more. So check out our channel, find any of the videos that you might like there. We've got a lot more things to watch. So watch them if you like watching stuff. Do you have anything you want to add or uh go f yourself, Ollie? Uh,
No. <laughs> Watch our videos. Thanks for watching. We have more of them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>